Sergeant, is this what the aliens were after? Seems so, ma'am. They sure paid a price trying to defend it. All quiet now. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now that's not what I expected. Heresy! Remove this filth! Take cover! These guys just don't know when to quit. Hello everybody, this is Phoenix bringing you the third mission of my Halo Wars Legendary Walkthrough Guide. This is Relic Interior. Relic Interior is a very easy and simple mission that requires you and your Grizzlies to fight through all this Covenant to rescue Forge, Anders, and those Marines and bring them back to the LZ where we get these two Grizzly tanks. So once you get control of the Grizzlies, you are going to micro them a little bit and have them attack each side of the, uh, of the Relic Entrance. A uh, quick side note, if you go back a little bit of ways uh, and backtrack, you'll be able to pick up the black box at the beginning of the, uh, like a little path that goes down. But I'm just concentrating on the uh, completion of this mission. I'll talk about black boxes uh, in a completely separate video, but just wanted to throw that out there. So the beginning enemies, as you can see here, very, very easy. But there is a little threat if you aren't paying attention that is extremely important. And that is the grunts holding the explosives on the left and the right. If they if they detonate the explosives on your grizzly tank, they are going to take a lot of damage, much more than you think they should. But it really does a lot of damage to your grizzly tank. So I highly recommend being extremely careful whenever you see uh, a grunt carrying an explosive. So right up here, we are going to shoot the methane tanks so that we can do a lot more damage in a shorter amount of time. As you can see here, we basically didn't even have to shoot once at the turrets, and it and it destroyed both of them with uh, both of those blasts. Clear out the enemies in that sniper tower. Moving on, there are going to be a couple of grunts uh, blocking your way up here that are carrying explosives. You are going to want to wait until those detonate and then move up, take out the methane tanks. If you're lucky and you're quick, You'll be able to take down an entire squad like I did, and then you uh, just have to worry about one more squad, and then you can cross the bridge. On the other side of the bridge, there is a turret right here. There are a few turrets in this next area. There's going to be the first one that's on the uh, on your immediate left, as you saw me destroy that one, and there are going to be two more, one on your right, uh, two more on the right, one closer to where Forge and Anders are. So clearing out any enemies, you're going to target that turret down first. It will do the most damage to you, even though it doesn't look like it. It is the it is a uh, unit that will actually do the most DPS over time to a grizzly. So that's why I target it down. I mean, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal because you have two really really OP tanks, but it's just good to take uh, to target those down. So once those are destroyed, I made the mistake of using my canister shell ability without having full complete sight of the hunters. So you're going to want to use your can uh, your canister shell right about where my grizzlies are right now. That way they uh, don't that way you can do the most damage to the hunters. I'm just going to slowly take out all these enemies. Don't want to get too much damage, but as I said, this mission is extremely easy. You have two really, really good units, and doesn't really require a lot to uh, to use them. They kind of just kill any infantry that you see, and they make life really, really nice for you. So as you can see here, we have our uh, we have our 
Uh, we have rescued Forge and Anders and the Marines, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our Marines and get them in the Sniper Towers, garrison them. That way they can uh, help us clear out the Covenant while Anders repairs our tanks and then ultimately we'll set up the bridge. But while she repairs our tanks, we are going to send Forge, as you can see here, to go uh, kill the enemy in this uh, Sniper Tower. And then we're going to put another group of Marines inside the Sniper Tower where we will... Uh, oversee any enemies that uh, will interrupt Anders as she's trying to get us across the bridge. So yeah, we have two Grizzlies full health. What we're going to do is we're going to put them right next to that bridge and uh, pretty much they're just going to be our first line of defense against any Covenant attack. Whereas uh, where Forge and the Marines will kind of supplement the fire. So we're just going to stay, uh, put our Grizzlies in a nice little formation. That way we're getting the most spread. And uh, that way there's, we're trying to kind of accomplish crossfire. We want there to be a good crossfire. That way no enemies will actually get to uh, our second level, which is going to be our Marines plus Forge. So once she gets to uh, hacking the computer to get the bridge online, it's just one minute of just holding out, not that long at all. You can pretty much hold here with just your Grizzlies for a little bit, and then you're going to use your Marines. But that's only if you really, really need the uh, the help that Forge and those Marines will get. Uh, that w They will give you. As you can see, you can't keep them under control, even though I want them to just leave the Covenant alone. There will be a time where those Hunters will get just stuck inside the... Uh, the doorway so you will just want to use your canister shell at some points that or you could just move them away completely from the uh, doorways that way the hunters can come all the way out roughly about 15 seconds remaining in the hacking process the covenant will send a bunch of jack uh, not jackals but grunts with explosives you will want to target those down immediately because they will do the most damage to your tanks so just keep an eye on them uh, it is easier for everybody to just make sure you don't lose uh, a tank here. Saw that random explosion, but once, if you're trying to get the achievement, you will just want to keep one unit on there, and then uh, after that one unit falls, you pretty much just continue on. Activate the bridge. This last part is really, really easy. Uh, just run to the LZ. You don't have to stop for anything, just keep moving. Um, just be very, very careful, as I said, of grunts uh, suiciding with their explosives. And yeah, that should be good. We have that wraith right here. There's a ton of methane tanks, which is going to be really, really helpful in destroying it. So uh, see that big explosion. Be very, very careful. That explosion did save us uh, from losing our marines here. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on dumb luck right here. So right here where all the hunters will just non-stop pour out, we do want the uh, the optional objective to get our skull, which is killing all 45 hunters. Uh, not all 45, but there are 45 hunters you need to kill, and we're going to use our grizzlies to uh, for a little bit to accomplish that task. So the marines at the where we put them in those sniper towers serve as uh, a dual purpose. They will prevent the enemy from... Uh, attacking us uh, by getting to our forces because they'll be cut off and they also serve another uh, purpose in uh, getting the skull which will spawn all the way back where we got forge and those other marines we do want to be careful when we're fighting these hunters though because we don't want to lose our combat score our combat efficiency has been really really good we haven't lost any units and that is the that's really really good for us we just want to make sure that we're Killing the hunters, microing back our uh, our grizzlies. That way they don't take too much damage. And if they do, just get them the heck out of there. That way you're not losing out on uh, precious points. I mean, it's much easier just to have the marines take down the hunters anyway, especially at this point when there's just one more hunter we have to uh, one more hunter we have to kill. As usual, be very careful with those. Uh, be very careful and. Uh, Keep an eye on those uh, grunts with the explosives. Sorry, I keep losing the names of some of them. So as you can see here, uh, the unfortunate part is that I didn't uh, 
do that quick enough so I didn't get the uh, skull for this, but that's where the skull is. And that is uh, Relic Interior on Legendary Difficulty. I hope you guys found this mission, uh, this guide helpful. If you guys did, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, as you'll see in a moment, we did get a gold mission, uh, gold medal for the mission. Again, I can't speak. Uh, but yeah, next video is going to be a combination of a lot of things. It's going to be Arcadia City with three different strategies. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys, and I can't wait to show you guys that because that is one of the most difficult missions in the entire game. So as you can see here, gold medal, and I can't wait to show you guys Arcadia City. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.